Well, I think it's um, you know it's a, it's a great role. It's been a brilliant experience. Um, at times, it's been tough, um, but the you know the the, the tough times have been outweighed by nights like the other night. Um, you know, you, you always you always question whether you could do it. You know, in terms of being in your comfort zone, it's something that both myself and the staff have been out of, um, which has done us good. Um, you know, our focus is really on 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 tomorrow now, in terms of you know the future, and uh, that that's 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 my priority is making sure that we get get the job done tomorrow. Um, fully respectful of, of Ireland and and the and the strengths that they have, so we have to make sure that we um, approach the game. Properly. How was it being a sub? Yeah, it's not the first time I've been a sub for England. I think, um, yeah, since Lee's been in charge, you know, I've only played one game per per camp. So, uh, from my point of view, of course, I want to start every game. I've always wanted to start every game, and I've never shied away from that. But of course, I know that's not always possible. I know we're in a a tough stage of the, the season, and you know, whenever called upon, whether it's off the bench or starting, I'd always give my my all for the team and. Um, yeah, I thought the the team played really well in a tough a tough game the other night, and to win three 0 away from home there, where they hadn't lost in a while, I thought was a, a really important victory, and it sets us up perfectly for tomorrow. Now. Does it worry you that maybe it doesn't matter as much to some other England players as it does just to you? No, I don't think I said that. I think I gave my opinion on on the matter. I think um, I probably didn't expect it to get as much coverage as as it did, but. Uh, it was my opinion. I think you know the November camp's always been a difficult camp. I think even when you look at other years, you know there's been uh, players who have pulled out, and it's a tough stage of the the season. You know you're, you're carrying injuries, you're in the heart of uh, a lot of games. Um, so it was just my opinion that you know England is you know really important. You know after a major championship like the summer, sometimes these September, October, November camps kind of get forgot about a little bit, just in terms of how important they are because. You know, if we win uh, tomorrow now, it sets us up really well uh, for the year ahead to the World Cup. So I think all the players, you know, try and give their their best whenever they come with England. And um, like I touched on there, I know it's a, a really tough stage of the season. But uh, whoever's in the squad, I think, is the most important thing. Um, I think Lee said that the other day about, you know, what we have here is all we can work with. And it gives, you know, some players a great opportunity to, um, you know, get their nose in, in the team. So... Um, yeah, going forward, there's always going to be injuries. There's always going to be people in and out, and that's part and parcel of international football. It's just whoever is with the squad, just to make sure they're they're ready to to play and make a difference. And um, you know, from now until the World Cup, there's a few camps to you know try and work your way into the team. Uh, are you definitely playing tomorrow? I don't want to give anything away, but that's, you have to ask the manager that that question, I guess. Please. Yes, he is definitely <laughs> playing tomorrow. <laughs> with Harry Kane, you always think goals. But he brings a lot more to the squad and the team than that. Um, his leadership skills, um, he's a good guy, which, which is really important as well. Um, the example he sets to the younger players, um, he's, he's a crucial part of, of, of the England team and, and moving forward. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to seeing him again tomorrow. Have you had any contact with Thomas since he was appointed? No, uh, I texted him when it got announced. Um, yeah, he texted me back, but I haven't spoken to him since. So uh, I, I'm sure, you know, before the March camp next year, probably we'll catch up. And um, but yeah, nothing, nothing else. Thank you. We saw you, you said you weren't going to take any risks with Esri concert. Yeah. So just wondering what the situation is with him and the rest of the squad ahead of tomorrow. Yeah, so he's um, he's been assessed by the medical team, um, and the scan results are back. And now he's he'll go back to Villa this afternoon. So, like I said, we we won't take any any risks with any of the players. So. Um, apart from Esri, we're in we're in good good condition. Yeah, I mean, I, I try and look look beyond myself. To be honest, I think it's it's important that um, you know for the, for for the for the longer term view that the best thing for us is to is to get promotion. Um, that sets us up for the the, the draw at the World Cup. And um, like like I say, what was set out beforehand, it will be achieved. But yeah, it'll be um, it'll be more more beneficial for the players than it will be myself and. I just hope they they can do well tomorrow and and show us what we, what we've seen in training, um, their their application, the way that they've um, been committed to what we've tried to do has been um, has been very good.